old niggas the fuck out of here. So I'm speaking the truth, so I'm saying something wrong today? Yeah, y'all started this shit. Y'all the reason the labels think battle rappers can't make songs today. What's up, everybody? This is your boy, The Dread Man. Um, as y'all just seen, that was footage from the Loaded Love vs. Calico Battle from Summer Madness 2 from Smack URL. And, uh, oh yeah, before I get into the topic of the video, shout out to all my fans, friends, subscribers on any website I'm on, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and um, all the Facebook groups, so man, shout out to the Unbiased Review group too. But uh, anyway, the main topic I want to talk about is um, battle rappers and underground rappers can't make hit music. Now, that is a stereotype, and you know, especially in the hip-hop community, in the underground and mainstream, whatever you want to, whichever way you want to um, flip the coin. But um, yeah, I want to know why people in general think this. I mean, of course, because everybody knows battle rappers like um, Sirius Jones and Murder Mook who had deals on the table with, you know, labels like Rough Riders and, you know, Disturbing the Peace and Sirius Jones, uh, his deal fell too, but he's still doing independent work, but I feel like a lot of independent labels, like, you know, make better music or more lyrically, lyrically inclined music than a lot of these mainstream, you know, labels like Def Jam and uh, Young Money, Cash Money and all them, but, um, yeah, I want to know where that where that stereotype came from. I mean, and I don't want to know, like, when people say battle rappers can't make hit songs, I want to know what exactly they mean by that. I mean, I mean, I, they, it can't be lyrically. I mean, it can't I mean because battle rappers in general, they are not short of lyrical talent because they are probably the most lyrically talented rappers on the planet. They just don't get the exposure that they deserve and they just don't get the money that all these mainstream rappers make. And, uh, I mean, and they have to mean being able to transfer into the modern era. I mean, because look at this footage. Big A17 freestyling, just completely gripping the mic on the corner of the best stop Brooklyn freestyling. Like, um, but I wanted, I wanted to know what y'all's opinion on this is. I mean, because if you think about it, what is hip hop? What is the essence of what hip hop really is? Because there's four elements to hip hop. Number one, MCing, rapping, freestyling. Number two, b boying, breakdancing. Number three, graffiti art. And number four, DJing and beatboxing. Yeah, that's the pretty much what. The elements of hip hop really are, and that's what hip hop is at its core. Did that style really transfer well into today's mainstream? No, because rap is something completely different. And um, yeah, for even more proof, for the clarification that battle rappers these days can't make hit songs, I don't know, but uh, maybe you've never heard of, uh, I don't know, this guy, or this guy. And last but not least, this guy. So yeah, before anybody, mainstream battle rap fans or underground fans or otherwise tell me that anybody from the underground can't make a hit song, can't transfer well into the, in the mainstream, take a look at that. I mean, there, I could have like listed plenty of other rappers, of course, but you know, those are the ones that stick out in my mind in particular. But anyway, I'm out of here. Y'all let me know what y'all think. I mean, can battle rappers or can underground rappers make hit songs, and if you don't think so, then why, and what do they need to do to transfer well into today's mainstream? Anyway, I'm out, y'all. Thanks for watching the video. Subscribe if you haven't. Rate this video, like it, share it, do whatever you gotta do. Alright, anyway, thanks for watching, y'all.